Hey, what's up, guys? You're back with me again. Jason from with SoundDesignStudio.net. Uh, we're back with another video of the wing, the Behringer wing. Um, but before we get started, you already know what I'm going to ask. I said what I'm going to ask. Sorry. Uh, hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen to make sure you guys stay uh, connected to us so we can stay connected to you. Um, we want to make sure whenever we upload anything new, you get alerted. And uh, and like I said, it's going to be audio, video, lighting, everything. So um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But we're going to get into the wing right now. Uh, so this video, we're going to show you the routing with the um, the uh, S16 or or whatever your digital snakes. So let's get off into that. All right. So the first thing is, of course, the connection. So the way I have it connected right now, I'm coming out of my AES. Uh, a port on the back so on this console you have a b and c so that's a great thing you have a lot of a lot of well i said a lot of more ports you had a and b on the on the uh, x32 and uh and the uh, m32 but you have an extra one you have the c now so but i'm coming out of a and then i'm going into uh the a on on my first uh, uh s16 well, one of my S16s and then I'm jumping to my second one. All right. So, um, so I'm coming out of my A and then I'm jumping into A on this S16s and then I'm jumping fr from that B into to the other one. All right. So let's switch to the other view for you guys on the screen. All right. So, well, let's go here. So let's choose channel four. All right. And let me make sure something real quick before I show you guys. Uh, All right. So on channel four, let's go here. All right. So I have channel four selected. So as you can see up here, I'm on channel four. The way I do it, and and like I said too, I'm still learning this console also. Uh, like I said, I'm not a Behringer rep or anything like that. I'm just kind of helping, you know, trying to help as much as I can uh, from a production standpoint of some things that I would probably want to know right offhand of how to do uh, since I'm in the production field and I know some things that we kind of run off into in the real world, not just, hey, how do you turn a fader up and down? All right, so uh, we're right here. So the way that you would access uh, routing to your digital snake, the way I get to it, uh, right below your home, is um, it shows your your um, phantom power and delay and all that tilt and all that kind of stuff. It shows that that that's that section. So I just clicked on that on my screen. And then right here, uh, it's like um, it's like selecting the, the 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 source or whatever. So then over here, uh, you get you can select the source group, which at that point. Uh, we don't want it to be local because right now it's set on local in. We don't want it to be local in. We want it to be AES A, uh, A since we're coming out of A right now. We want it to be A 
uh um well we're coming out of uh we're coming out of AESA we want to well we coming we're coming out of AESA into our digital snake so we want to choose AESA and then at that point uh we have two S16 set up so it, you know of course that would be 32 channels right now we have it it's up to 48 uh on the A channel so uh we can choose let's just say we want it to be channel 6 at that point you see a change right here that says A6 so now you can say hey I'm done so now you see that says a6 so at that point um and this is another thing too on phantom power uh what i'm and it could be another way but what i've noticed on two different sections you're able to turn on phantom power which is in your routing and then also over here in this section if you hold input that'll turn on your phantom so right now when I'm holding this I'm seeing the phantom power turn on on my uh, S16 so that I so I know that is routed right on that channel all right so I know that it's working and at that point you know that it works for that um then i mean if you wanted to use local number eight you just go right there and switch it to lo local number eight now channel four is local number eight so now you go here uh, uh, sorry go here now it's local number eight sorry now we're good so now if you can tell I'm coming up on channel four and I'm coming up on channel eight uh, and I, I didn't even have the the screen switch sorry so what I did in the routing, let me go back. So what I did, I chose channel four, went in the same section, went there, and remember I was on AES. I went back and chose local, and I chose eight. And it went there, and so now my channel four is, is channel eight also. All right. So now if you look at if I choose channel 8 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 no matter if I choose 4 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 both of those inputs cuz I'm in input 8 on the back both of those are getting my microphone. All right. So, um, you know, that's how you choose your, uh, your routing as far as your digital snake. It's not hard, but that's the video from sounddesignstudio.net. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can keep bringing you videos we're going to keep bringing them back to back to back and we're going to bring you some more videos with the Behringer wing uh, as soon as possible. So go on to sounddesignstudio.net and make sure you keep up with the company too. Uh, if you, for any production needs, we're, we're all over. Appreciate it.